This is a case of a 32-year-old female patient with severe malnutrition and diarrhea. The capsule endoscope is passing the pylorus. The descending duodenum is rapidly traversed. Bile is seen within the lumen. There is complete villus atrophy visualized in the duodenum and the proximal small bowel. Submucosal vessels are showing through. There is a loss of the duodenal and jejunal folds, and a nodular and mosaic pattern of the mucosa with scalloping of the circular folds may be noticed. The magnification and motion views of capsule endoscopy enhance the detection of atrophy with a sensitivity of approximately 90%. But early stages such as Marsh classification, stage 1 and 2, may be missed with this technique. Complete visualization of the small bowel and high sensitivity for small bowel lesions favor the use of capsule endoscopy in patients in whom complications of celiac disease are suspected. Capsule endoscopy findings resemble high-resolution upper GI tract video endoscopy. Mosaic pattern of the mucosa and scalloping of the circular folds is well demarcated and might even be better visualized with use of optical enhancement techniques such as narrowband imaging. Severe villus atrophy in the upper third of the small bowel contrasts well with the deeper parts of the small bowel in this case where normal mucosa is seen. Atrophy decreases and the mucosal architecture may normalize with progressing into the lower small bowel in many patients, but patchy manifestations of celiac disease have also been described. Capsule endoscopy is useful to exclude enteropathy-associated T-cell lymphoma, EATL, ulcerative jejunitis, and small bowel adenocarcinoma. In case any of these complications of celiac disease were detected by video capsule endoscopy, plans can be made with balloon-assisted endoscopy to obtain specific samples for histologic review.